Our Lord Jesus Christ had been very thoughtful when he knew that he was going back to the Father. Before he left us, he instituted the most precious gift that he could possibly leave for us, the Holy Eucharist. As Catholics, we truly believe that the Eucharist is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus himself. The source and summit of our Christian life. So my dear friends, allow me to spend some time with you to go through the different processes involved in the reception of the Holy Communion. When was it last time that somebody told you how to receive Holy Communion? I'm sure it was when you were in your second grade preparing for First Holy Communion. But over time, we got so used to it that it has lost its charm, the value, the preciousness of the moment when you go to receive our Lord Jesus in the Eucharist. Reception of the Holy Communion consists of several stages and one of them is the communion procession. Any liturgical procession is a sign of the pilgrim church on the way to the heavenly Jerusalem. And when you stand in line for communion, you are a manifestation, a sign, a symbol of that pilgrim church on its way to Jerusalem. Hence, the communion procession is not a line in the supermarket or the line at the motor vehicle bureau or a polling station. This type of standing in line impoverishes the significance of this great religious action. We really have to give witness to what we believe when we receive communion. You remember the prayer? Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Our procession should move with dignity. Our bearing should be that of those who know they have been redeemed by Christ and are coming to receive their God. Reverence. We express our reverence, first of all, by a simple bow of the head as we approach the minister to receive the Holy Eucharist. This expresses both our individual and communal adoration of Jesus in the Eucharist, as well as the acknowledgement of our belief in the real presence of Christ in Holy Communion. Reverence is also shown in our bodily demeanor, namely our gesture, our clothing, our attitude and so on. Does your receiving the Eucharist convey the respect, solemnity, reverence, awe, love and the joy of the moment when Christ becomes our guest? Just before stepping forward to the Eucharistic minister, make a reverent bow of the head. This is an act of adoration of Jesus in the Eucharist and an expression of our belief in the real presence of Christ in the Blessed Sacrament. <music>